Well, here we are on the High Point Trailhead heading towards Grand Ridge Trail. It's so much steep we're gonna have to start, but nothing too bad. Unfortunately, you can hear I-90 in the background. Sorry guys. Okay, as you can tell, we are slowly getting away from the noise of the freeway to the right of us. And it's been pretty much a continuous, slight elevation change every switchback. And believe me, there's quite a few switchbacks on this one. Also note, there's a lot of bike riders on this trail, so be prepared for that. Okay, here we are, we're at the loop. To the right is the start of the Grand Ridge Trail. To the left is a coal mine loop. And this is just a loop that goes back each other, but this one on the right, the Grand Ridge Trail, will go into the full Grand Ridge Trail that's about um, nine, 10 miles. But we're not going to go that way, but we are going to go the loop starting on the left. So, as you can tell, we had change, eco zones, ecosystems. We're more in a uh, deciduous type of uh, trail now, and we're slowly, steadily going downwards again. I just wanted to point out that there's this rather large 
walked up here alongside the little creek bed that's on the trail. I'm not quite sure how big it is, but you can tell that's a bit of a nursery uh, stump. I don't see any trees, but a bunch of uh, plants growing on it. That's pretty big. This is indicative of what the, what's called a working forest. You're going to find large stumps like this all along the trail. So here we are, just off the trail. Some curious cement blocks. Um, not sure, but um, my guess is this is called Coal Mine uh, Trail. This might be for some kind of coal mining operation. I'll have to look this up later. Interesting. I've seen this before at uh, Franklin uh, <coughs> Ghost uh, Mine. So I'll have to look this up. This is cool. They know this existed here. Caution, there are nettles hogs on the trailhead. If you're wearing shorts, be careful, because they are annoying. And that breeze feels really good. About 75, 76 degrees out today. Not too bad, but when you're hiking, be sure to bring a lot of water. There's water on the trail in several places that you can't get with a filter, but you're not really going that too far, so just carry your own for now. Okay, so we come up across power lines, and as the map indicates, we follow these in the arc to our left. We came out to the right of the power line right there you see in the video, and we are heading up this way. And we'll soon get back onto the actual trail here in a few minutes, I believe, according to the map.